Hey, you damn dirty nerds out there. It has been a long time, I know. Um, and uh, the reason it's been so long, um, honestly, I just haven't really been, I haven't really had a good idea of making videos. Um, but I've, I'm starting to get a couple more ideas now, so I'm going to start recording more often. And um, so this is actually kind of, so I'm really hoping to get, like, really start doing these videos more often than I was before. Um, and, um, this is actually, like, the second video I've recorded. The first one, uh, I started kind of going off on too many tangents, so I kind of had to delete it, and I'm starting all over. Um, keep in mind, this is all on my phone, so I don't have, so I don't really have editing software, and, um, I'm thinking about getting a laptop, but at the same time, like, I don't want to get a laptop, so, uh, what you see is what you get. I'm not into this to make money. I'm really kind of into this to start maybe, like, dialogues with people. Uh, I'm not really, um, inform... I'm not really informative. Uh, you know, everything I say, you know, you can pretty much get find out yourself. So, it's like, I'm, not, I'm really nothing special. This is just me kind of, um, spending some time and, you know, getting some of my opinions and thoughts out there on certain things. So, um... As some of you may know, I am a truck driver. Uh, I have been since October of 2020, so I haven't run, I haven't been doing it for very long, uh, about a year and a half at this point. So, um, and one of and here's the thing, like I drive through Indianapolis a lot, you know. And one day I was driving through Indianapolis, and I was kind of on the uh, bypass, and I kind of looked over and I saw, hey, it, you know, and I kind of looked over and I'm just like, huh. Indianapolis is, you know, kind of a big city. Do any TV shows take place in Indianapolis? And I thought, and it's like, no, they don't. And I started to think about other places, other states, other locations, and it's like, huh. So, it just seems like TV focuses mostly on um, Los Angeles, Chicago, New York. Little bit of Miami. And Dallas a couple times. That's really kind of it for TV shows. And I just really think that's sad. Because there's so many other locations in America that we can really get a good TV show. You know? And so that's what I'm going to uh, do for these next few videos. I'm going to go through the states. And I'm going to talk about... You know, uh, give kind of locations that they can shoot new, you know, different sh uh, shows in. Uh, most of them are going to be cities um, because uh, it's I. It would just probably be cheaper in cities, I guess, or uh, you can get more uh, more workers in cities. Um, but you know, but also because I watch a lot of cop shows, you know, and so big cities you need crime. You, so big cities you get crime, and you need crime for cop shows. So it, I think that would just kind of work. Um, but. Um, so yeah, so that's what this um, next few videos are going to be. I'm going to kind of go through some of the states, and then I'm going to um, talk about shows that ha may have already taken place in those states. Um, but mostly I'm going to be naming off, um, uh, you know, cities, uh, and maybe some idea show types that these states can, you know, have. Um, give me one second, got to grab my... Uh. Atlas. It's useful. All right, let's see. All right, let's get the index part. So, the first state we're going to talk about is Alabama. You know? And um, I think that there's only one show uh, that I've seen that takes place in Alabama. And it took place, I think, in a fictional town. I don't know if it's a real town. It's called uh, Bluebell, Alabama. So I don't know if it's a real show, a, a real place, but it was a decent show. It was a CW show. But uh, it was decent. I saw, I watched the first season. Uh, been me I was meaning to watch the second one when it got taken off of Netflix. So, um, anyway, um, you've got uh, Birmingham, um, Tuscaloosa, Montgomery, Mobile, um, Huntsville, Florence. So you got some options in Alabama to shoot these shows, you know. And I'm trying to remember 
I don't really know the terrain of um, some of these places so well, but especially in like Mobile, you got uh, the Gulf of Mexico right there, so you can do a good like uh, port show or something like that. And I imagine it would be swampy in uh, parts of southern Alabama, uh, southern Alabama, so it'd be kind of cool to maybe do like a um, kind of like a um, uh, a fantasy swamp show. Um, I know that you know we usually associate. Um, well, I'm going to talk about that when I get to Louisiana, you know, which might be in a couple of videos. But, um, you know, so it would be kind of cool to kind of see uh, maybe some Alabama. Get some, get, get um, Alabama uh, some good um, attention. And, no, you do not have to do Sweet Home Alabama for its opening. If you do do the TV show down there. Um, next, we've got Alaska. Uh, Alaska um, doesn't really have too many options in terms of cities. It's got... Um, Anchorage, um, Fairbanks, uh, Juneau, the capital, oh, um, yeah, uh, capital of Alabama is Montgomery, so, um, I'm gonna name all the capitals, because the cap, because you, that'd be, you know, kind of a dead giveaway of places you can have a show, um, but, um, so yeah, so, uh, for, Al for Alaska, what, a thing that I would really kind of like to see is, you know, kind of do, because you got some, I don't know what the good word to use is, um, but you got some, like, um, native tribes up there. And it'd be kind of cool to kind of see um, a show from them, you know, kind of, and, that's, and, you know, yes, it can be modern, but maybe kind of like, you know, um, a good, I don't know, fantasy show um, heavily based off of their cultures um, that take place, you know, pre-colonial times. You know, I think that'd just be kind of cool. All right, let's see. Um, we've got um, Arizona. Um, on four, and I, I keep I forgot to mention this with Alaska. I don't know of any shows that take place in Alaska. You know, and same thing with Arizona. You know, I mean, and these are big. These are major states. You know, um, so it's like I don't know why they don't really seem to get any love on um, you know the silver screen. Um, but anyway, uh, for Arizona, obviously you've got, uh, Phoenix, you've got Yuma, uh, you've got, hold on, I gotta, uh, switch pages here, let's see, you've got, uh, Flagstaff, um, Sierra Vista, Tucson, you know, I mean, so, um, and the state cap, oh, the capital is Phoenix. Um, so yeah, you've got some, you got some options with Arizona and once again, kind of like with, um, Alaska, you can do a native, um, kind of a native American show. I, I really am totally down for that. You know, as long as it's historically and culturally, um, accurate, you know? So I, so once again, like Arizona, like, I don't know why that doesn't get any kind of love. You know, on from Hollywood or anything. All right, um, Arkansas. Um, the only show I can think of that you know technically has a tie to Arkansas is um, Beverly Hillbillies. I don't know. I can't remember. I know in the movie that came out back in like the '80s or '90s, uh, had them start off in Arkansas and then move to Beverly Hills. I don't know if the TV show had that. Uh, I never actually watched it, unfortunately. So, um, I don't really know where they started off in, but that's like the only show I can think of that has a tie to Arkansas and they're not even in Arkansas anymore. They're in Beverly Hills. So, which is basically LA, right? So it's like, it doesn't really count, but, um, let's see, you've got the capital of Little Rock, uh, Texarkana, Fort Smith, Pine Bluff, Jonesboro, um, Fayetteville, so, you got some options, you know. Um, I don't know, it kind of looks like Memphis kind of um, st uh, kind of jets into Arkansas a little bit. Um, which doesn't look like it does it too much, and since Memphis is usually um, known as a Tennessee, I'm, I'll talk about Memphis when I get to Tennessee. So, you, yeah, so you got some options there. Um, next up in alphabetical order is California. Uh, which we have, um, 
which already has Los Angeles, but there's other areas in um, California that you can do. You know, um, you've got um, San Diego. I don't think there's any, any TV shows take place in San Diego. San Francisco is probably the next city in California that gets um, TV shows. Monk, uh, Charmed, uh, they do, they both took place in San Francisco. Uh, I think there was a TV show in the 90s called Dark uh, Nightman. Um, I think he, that one took place in San Francisco. Uh, and that one, if you don't know, is about a jazz musician who gets in an accident. All of a sudden, he can hear the evil thoughts of people around him. So, um, let's see. Um, and then you've got other um, cities. Um, you know, you got state capital, Sacramento. You've got um, Modesto, Santa Rosa, Santa Rosa, Stockton. So, it's like, you, you got... So I was like, you got plenty of options in California. If you really want to shoot in California, get out of L.A. All right? Eesh. All right, let's see. God, they really... California has, like, the most pages in this thing. I hate it. Uh, next up is Colorado. Um, only show I can think of is The Ranch. And I don't even know if that's a real place. I can't really even remember the name of the town. I know they, like, say about talk about going to Denver all the time. So I don't know if they're, like, near Denver or what. But, um, but yeah, that state capital, Denver, right there. You, have, you can have a show. Uh, and then you can have uh, Fort Collins. And then, um, got the date. Not two cities in this one. Oh, oh it's on the next page. Uh, the, the index, uh, the maps have, like, miniature maps of the cities. So that's kind of what I'm going off of. Um, Colorado Springs. You know, you can, so you can definitely get, you know, some good, so you got a couple of options there. And one thing that's interesting about, you know, Colorado is you have the plains of eastern Colorado that you could easily do, um, I know I'm going to keep saying this over, a good Native American show, or even just like, you know, kind of like an update, uh, not really an updated, but like a, um, a little house on the prairie, you know, you can do that in several states. I'll, I'll try to bring those up, but you know. I really do love uh, the Frontiers the Frontiers Town shows, you know. Um, oh, um, I just remembered another show that took place in Colorado, uh, Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. I absolutely love that show. I cannot believe I uh, forgot about that show. I need to see if that's on any of the streaming services. But yeah, so you got some options of new lo of of locations in in uh, Colorado, and, um, and you got some. You need to have like a good mountain show you can have a planes show so you got options of things to work with here both in terms of modern day and in terms of um you know um civil war and before kind of times you know so that'd be kind of cool all right uh we're gonna end this with the la uh with connecticut that's gonna be the last one for the day um i can't think of a show that takes place in connecticut but um you know uh you got hartford the state capital uh, Connecticut is kind of like so small though. Like I really feel like you could get away with just not having a central location in Connecticut. Connecticut, you could really kind of maybe do like a state police kind of a thing, um, because it is kind of so small. You can really cover a lot of ground with that kind of premise. But um, like I said, you got uh, Hartford, New London, um, Stamford, Waterford, and Bridgeport. Which, again, I mean, you can kind of do like a uh, port town kind of a thing. I really do like the uh, idea of a port town. I, um, you know, I really kind of like the idea of uh, being next to water and all that. So that'd be kind of cool. Um, but, um, so yeah. So you got some options here. Got, th got through a couple of the states. Um, the next video will be uh, Delaware. Actually, you know what? I'll just do Delaware real quick. It's the only D. I'm trying to stay, I'm trying not to split up the alphabets. So, uh, so yeah, you got Delaware, um, which is even smaller than Connecticut. So it's like you can get even more, you can cover even more ground. Uh, unfortunately, the only places that seem to take, that seem to like have a good um, like filming location is uh, Dover, the capital. Um, other than, oh, you also got Wilmington. So yeah, you've got you've got some options in terms of you got a couple of options in Do in Den uh, Delaware, but um, 
So yeah, um, you, you, so once again, you can kind of show some love to this state that doesn't really get talked about at all. Which, I'm sure the people of Delaware would love some attention from the media, uh, from positive attention, you know? So, I mean, just kind of like, work, so, kind of work your way around with it, people. It doesn't have to be anything special, you know? But anyway, that's, um, all I got for you guys today. Uh, I got about a good 15-minute video. Um, if you know of any shows that took, took place in any of these cities, feel free to comment down below. Um, of course, you know, every, like everyone else, everyone else on YouTube, like, share, subscribe. Uh, I already say comment. Um, so, um... If you guys want my opinion on anything that has happened like the last year, feel free to comment down below. Um, feel free to freeze our Facebook page. I don't really think there's been anything on there for a while now. Um, I really need to start kind of getting back into sharing onto that. But, um, yeah, so go ahead and um, I'm trying to think of a good sign-off way to comment. I'm, I'm even kind of hesitant about doing the whole, hello, you damn dirty nerds. It just sounds so weird. I need a better intro. And a better out, out, um, outro, or is it out, out, outtake? You guys know what I'm talking about. Like better sign, sign off. That was that was the word I was think, trying to think of. So um, if you guys even have suggestions for that, feel free. Anyway, um, I think that's gonna be it for the day. You all have a good one.